Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today, I'm going through one of the templates in BuildBox 3, Twisty Road. As I like to call it, Crashy Road. If you like playing and making games, don't forget to like and subscribe. First, let me show you what not to do in Twisty Road that will make you want to call it Crashy Road. Here are the level path. Never go into this texture. Do not touch this. Stay away from it. You will crash everything. I was looking at this texture and I was like, I don't like the color because, I don't know, I'm a big color person. And the second you go in there, crash every single time. Do not touch it. Do not mess around with it. Don't even look at it. Ignore that it exists because that will crash. That being said, let's take a look what I was playing with. There's still not a lot of documentation on BuildBox 3. I find myself asking, what is this component? What is this piece? What does this mean? Here you can see, this is like a cool little world I created. In BuildBox, it's super easy to just like make all these things, check out the cool shadows. The main thing I was working on, I wanted to create these balls, have them have gravity, and then run into the character. I spent a couple hours just trying to figure this out. In the meantime, I added clouds, figured out how to add a wake up spawner to the clouds and then also use the node system to have the clouds be randomized. Now I'll go into all of that. I found myself trying to understand what the difference between dynamic and kinematic. Static is clear. Kinematic and dynamic, they seem similar but they're different. Here with the character, I set it to kinematic and I set the sphere to dynamic. I wasn't sure what the difference was and I was just A, B testing it to get it to work the way I wanted to and I can show that right here and here you can see that the character will run into it some of these spheres will fly into the air notice the clouds they're moving away because they have wake up spawners i will touch on that in a little bit i wasn't sure about kinematic versus dynamic i just went to the unity documentation this is a great way to try to get an idea of what buildbox is maybe trying to do and explain someone just sent me a link to the latest buildbox documentation it's a little bit better than before. So I just went control search, typed in kinematic, and was able to see the difference. Wish I knew that this had been updated because I literally spent hours looking in the Unity documentation, not only for kinematic dynamic, but for other things as well. The BuildBox documentation is slowly getting updated. We set the spheres to dynamic so that they have their own physics in this reality. Then we set the character to kinematic. It's essentially a static item that is moving, but since it's our character, we control moves through that world. Let's take a look. Here we go and look at that. Let's take a look at what else I did in this 3D world. So obviously I had a cool pyramid, super easy to do. I made clouds and then I went into the spheres and I made one a child and a parent which is fun to do but save it before you do this save before you make a child a parent or parent a child once you do that I don't know how you undo it maybe if I go like that oh you know what you can undo it by just moving the child to the very top and let me check this out okay cool okay looks like that worked take a look at the sphere so originally I took out the random node which is just this one and it's like a 50 50 then I went into the random five one I thought hey instead of having the cloud move away at the same time at the same speed let's switch it up add that level of variety in something that isn't really paid attention to here you can just see the cloud moving away at a random speed now some of them are connected to a parent some of them are not that's why it looks like that essentially they're not floating away at the same time at the same speed because I set it up to random now I only have three in here going into this random code I do know a tiny bit Bit of JavaScript. It's easy to read this. Basically, it was saying if the random number is less than this number, output one. If the random number happens to be less than this number, output two. If the random number happens to be less than this, output three, four, five. And because I only wanted three options, I was able to change the code a little bit just to be what I wanted. And then connected it to this move node, which tells the object to move. That was cool. I wanted to know if there's anything in the document about level path or level point. There is a video that talks about these level paths and how you can move it. It's super basic and introductory. Here we go. I'll definitely need to check out game path and points part one, game path point part two again, just to review it because when I'm in here, like literally I made some mistakes. One of the paths is looking like really 
weird and I wasn't able to like control Z and do it. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. Let me know what has been your experience with BuildBox 3. Are there any insights you can share? Until then, I will see you next time. Peace.